Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of this Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion series. Today we're going to be taking you up to the NEC Motorhome Show. This is a show we've been wanting to go to for a little while. We want to get some inspiration, maybe pick up some good deals and bargains from all the different suppliers that supply motorhome providers around the UK. So we're going to be taking you along with us today to go and check out some of the deals, some of the show, give you some inspiration, hopefully some of your van conversions, some of the different ideas that people are doing on their vans. So come along with us and let's go and enjoy the show. So one of the things we wanted to come to the show for was to look at our water and heating systems. So this is the whale version, can fit under a bench seat and then you can connect into your ducting to duct around the van for various different heat pipes. Also really like this bench seat idea, nice fold up bench, it's got a nice action to it. So we may do something similar to that in our bench, obviously not this big. Yeah, I really like that. So this is the water heater that we're looking at from Whale. So this, this will sit in a cupboard, potentially underneath a bench seat. Got your water inlets and outlets on top. And then this heats up your domestic water inside the van so you can have your showers and you can have all of your hot water running into your taps. We're now around at the whale stand. Obviously one of the things we're going to be fitting in the van is a 240 hookup. We really like these slide up inlets so you can have your 240 mains hookup in a nice waterproof container so when you're not using it it slides down and then when you want to plug in slide it up and plug your cable in. We also do various different ones for various different uh, onboard tank filling, water out, water in. We also like these mains electric out. So what this allows you to do is this allows you then to have a 230 volt socket on the outside of your van. Really handy if you want to plug in the external appliances to run off your inverter. And we also have a handy external barbecue outlet as well. So you can plug a barbecue straight into your gas tanks without having to run cables and everything and, and pipes all around your van. So we've come over to Propex to talk about gas tanks. Um, this is the kind of setup that we're going with, obviously mounted underneath the van. Gas bottle up and underneath. And then you have this nice little handy connector here to connect into, fill up at your petrol station and then that fills up your gas tank. And then you can have all of your internal connections connecting into here. So these are all the different tanks. So this is the style of door that we're looking at to put in our shower unit, the Tamburino doors. It's got a track on the bottom and on the top to slide round, connect the two sides up and then it gives you a nice sealed unit that you've got your shower in. Obviously we'll be putting this, our sides will be coming out to here and this will just be on the front side. But it's just a space saving option for your doors. Obviously when they're slid back, they just go back in and they fold down. So this is the Thetford Triplex oven that we've been looking at with the three burners on the top. So you've got the three burners on the top and then you have 
the oven space down here as well. Quite a nice size oven. Two shelves. Will be enough for two people to use quite easily. So this one's got a similar shower tray to the one that we're looking to install. And then they've got a fully fitted shower unit with the sliding across door just here. It comes across to give you your sealed off shower. Oh. This is quite a cool addition to a VW Crafter. Pop out sides. This Westphalia, really cool idea, giving you that extra bit of room inside. So you can put the bed widthways like we've done and still have quite a bit of extra room in on the bottom. Keep your feet out into, obviously these just fold back in when you're driving along, but really like this idea. This has also got the electrical hookup on the outside by the door and then into the gas locker as well. So another example of a shower tray with the built-in toilet in this one and then this one just has the door with a reflective surface on the other side just to bounce any water back and then it has a nice lighting panel just up here just to give a little bit of more ambient light and then it has a thinner unit on this side obviously because of the width of the shower And then this is what the side looks like from the inside. So this is the slide outside. A bit of memory foam that goes out in here. Obviously this lifts up. This piece here lifts up when you bring the slide back in. And then you can drive off. But gives you that bit of extra room again. This has got quite thick panels on the side. So you are losing quite a bit of room compared to what we've done. You've also got the similar idea of putting USBs on the back pillars so that when you're in bed you can charge up phones and then it's got a nice strip light underneath here for giving you that lighting in bed and also it's got these nice little spotlights as well just come across this brand new crafter I really like these decals on the bonnet don't know if they're gonna pick up on camera I really like these details and also down the side as well on the panels really cool just breaks the van up a little bit definitely have to have a look at something like this for the side of our van this one's also got some quite cool windows in the side it's obviously got the shower unit in here so having the doors uh, having the windows got your fill points for your gas and for your water in here as well so you've got your water inlet and also for your Truma heater here as well so when you fit the Truma underneath and then your gas locker on the side as well. Obviously this is one of the handy things we won't have to have as a gas locker, as our gas tanks are gonna be fitted underneath the van. But if you do have gas tanks inside, then you're gonna to need to have a gas locker installed as well. So we have another example of a Mercedes Sprinter interior. Slightly different layout again. This time, the bulkhead above the cab is being boxed in. Again, got the shower going the opposite way this time still with the tall Thetford fridge this time with a mirrored finish on the front and then sink and hob on the unit by the door similar to what we're doing in our conversion and then the overhead cabinets above the seating area at the bottom so here we have the new Dometic fridge compressor fridge this is the 90 litre version nice tool unit it's also got the removable freezer compartment in the top here really like that if you don't want to use the freezer all the time you could just take that out also got a nice side latch on here as well compared to the top latches so just pull this whole bar and it opens up you can also set this one to various different modes you can put it on a night mode you can put various different timers in here as well one thing we really like about it is that it vents from the top so you don't have to have any tolerances or clearances around the side of the fridge as all of this vents out of here so you don't have to worry about any ducting or any external vents out of there as well so i think we'll be going for this one not released until january but it just will tie in nicely with the build and where we want to be 
here we are in another Mercedes Sprinter long wheelbase. Again, another different layout to the ones we've looked at previously. This has got a full height oven, grill, and four burner hob on the top here. Another Thetford unit. And then this one has a Dometic fridge. Again, relatively large fridge, which you can open on this side. Push the button on the top, pull it open. And a nice large fridge in here. So this is the Dometic ATR series. It's got the freezer unit at the top and then the fridge unit as well. And then handily, it's got a nice large storage unit above here with a light inside that opens up. You've then got your leg for your table, stored nicely in here. And the table fits down into this area. Down here, you've got your foot plate down on the floor. Nice USB outlets all over the van. And then you've got your sink area over here as well. Nice sink covers up so you can use this as worktop space when the fridge is dead, when the sink lids down. And then you've got your standard tap here as well. Yeah, it is. Nice little shelving units that fold out from the side. And on the outside as well, so if you've got the door open, you have a little bit of extra storage space. So we've come across this beauty in the show, obviously classic Airstream, lovely looking van. This one even has an awning on the side, which is really cool. Really cool living. Quite expensive price tags on the know. This one here is 91,995. This one here is a slightly smaller model, but perfect. Perfect fit for two people. It's got a nice big bed in the back, proper mattress, loads of storage around here, lots of nice lighting, again all the mod cons, and then up this end, nice seating area. We've also got in here a full shower, toilet and sink. So we're now back at home after our day at the NEC Caravan and Motorhome Show. We had a really good day up there, got some really good inspiration and managed to look at some really cool products that we want to be putting in our van. Some of the things that we want to be putting in, we want to be putting in a brand new fridge that's coming out in January which we showed you in the video. We're also looking at two different heating for water systems, either the Truma unit or a unit which is from Whale, which is two different split systems, one for heating and one for air, uh, whereas the Truma unit is just a single unit. Still undecided on that, but we'll give you an update when we've come to a decision on what we're going to be doing on that. Again, we'd really like to thank everyone that subscribed to this channel. This week we got over 100 subscribers on our channel, which we're really pleased with. Thank you to everyone that has already subscribed. If you haven't already done so and you're liking these videos, remember to hit that subscribe button down in the bottom of the videos and we'd really appreciate it. Next week we'll be back to normal, back to doing camper conversion videos, doing some work on the camper van, so check out our video next Sunday. If you don't already know, we do put up a video every Sunday, so remember to check back in and keep up with our conversion. So until then, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.